it comes right out of the blue, or the grey. For a moment, I don't believe what I'm seeing. Then, like the rest of us, I'm running out to welcome our saviour. Impenetrable fog had grounded all flights out of Kodiak City for three days. But for the moment, no one's complaining. We've been rescued. Oh, down to the last pair of underpants. The bad news is that the Coast Guard flight has left without us. The good news is that we've managed to wangle ourselves aboard the last flight of the season on the only scheduled service between Alaska and Russia. Morning. You know, good morning. Um, Petra Pavlovs, please, I have trouble saying it, but that's, you know what I'm, what I mean? Yes, we know okay. what you're talking about, and it is uh, hard to pronounce. Well, <laughs> here we are. And how many passengers are traveling? Uh, there's seven of us, please. Seven Yeah. How many bags will we be checking today? Uh, 43. 43? Yeah. Well, we're going on somewhere. We're not just stopping in Petropavlovsk. <laughs> oh, that's... Well, we have 43 tags here. Good. Yeah, if you can go ahead and set your bags right up here. We'd okay. appreciate that. Great. We have very comfortable seats. Very comfortable seats. If there's nobody in first class, if there's nobody in first class, we'll go there and we won't we bother anybody. We won't bother anybody. Just give us a nice glass of champagne, some your... little bags of nuts that you spend the whole flight trying to open, and we'll sit there quietly. Flight 203 from Anchorage to Petropavlovsk, from America's last frontier to Russia's last frontier. Kamchatka lies 2,000 miles away. The contrast is stark. Alaska is the land of opportunity, and Kamchatka, until six years ago, was closed to all foreigners. But now all that's changed, and I'm welcomed with a traditional offering of bread and salt. Unfortunately, it's not for me at all, although some of the waiting press half recognize a star when they see one. The real celebrities are an Alaskan delegation from the town of Homer, led by the mayor. The way he tucks into the welcome bread makes me strangely envious of the new cordiality in Russian-American relations. Carol? I'm sorry, Carol? The head of the delegation and the driver. Greetings over, the Alaskan delegation is swept away in the official limousine. But the offerings from the people of Petropavlovsk don't go unappreciated. <laughs> well, I was, I, was given, I was given it by a friend. It turns out it was a bit of a mistake. They weren't for me, they were from some Alaskan Kamchatkan Friendship Society, but. They left me with the cake. I got the cake in the end. Didn't get the flour, but I got the cake. Very nice. We'll, we'll share it. Should last us a week. 